welcome to supper. How about a nice Hawaiian punch? Thank you, Judge. You know, there's nothing better at the end of a long day on the road than a nice warm glass of Hawaiian punch. Here's some good friends. Does he treat all traffic violators this graciously? Only the ones he takes a special interest in, like bankers. Ants on a log, ma'am. Oh, yeah, sure. Well, uh, folks, <clears throat> I'd like to introduce my granddaughter, Eldona. She's single. And the best Class A mechanic in five states. It's adorable, Judge. She'd make an ideal wife, too. Genuine wage earner and struck dumb at birth by a thunderclap. My kind of woman. I think the two of you would make a perfect couple. Hmm. You look pretty this evening, sister. Doing something different with your hair? <laughs> <laughs> Eldona, would you please prepare the meal? Mm. Thank you, dear. <clears throat> mm. Want to see a wine list? Young man, it is basic human politeness to share your conversation with the whole table. So what's on your brain? Alvin, I was just thinking you've got enough uh, vintage steel around here to make a few thousand Toyotas. Ever think of selling the whole place to the Japanese? There you go! Does the Pope wear a hat with Sergeant York's mother an angel, and will a banker grope for money? I'm not a banker, I'm a financial publisher. Yeah, well, all I know is in 17, after they shipped me off to fight, some New York financier rolled in here one day and hog glousered and tub wankled my grandfather into mining the whole place out in exchange for shares in something called the United Coke Company. Do you know what those stock certificates are worth today? Just about the finest outhouse wallpaper you've ever seen. We were forced to become what you drove through today. Burnt out coal field. And the biggest icebox graveyard east of the Ohio foundry belt. And that's why I never let a banker go. 